Welcome back to Sports Center. Counting down to the soccer friendly at the link on ESPN2. Coverage begins 8.30 Eastern. Game kicks off at 9. Landon Donovan, new American head coach Jurgen Klinsmann, getting their minds right. Everybody looking to make some hay on this night. Well, just 12 days ago, former German soccer star and German national team coach Jurgen Klinsmann became the 35th coach of the U.S. men's national soccer team. After turning down the position in 2006 and again just seven months ago, Julie Foudy sat down with Jurgen to find out why the third time turned out to be the right time. That gives me great pleasure to introduce the new coach of the U.S. men's national team, Jurgen Klinsmann. <clears throat> Jurgen, why was the timing right this time around to take the U.S. head coaching position? This time, Sunil and I, we had really good talks, and uh, we're on the same page. We understand each other's role, and, uh, and I kind of had the feeling that, you know, this is, this is the moment to step in and, and hopefully develop the, the U.S. national team further to where it is right now, and, and I felt good about it. In your opinion, what is the biggest thing that needs to improve for the U.S.? The big question is how can we increase the amount of time they play throughout the whole year? The play and the practice more consistently, more demanding, more competitive um, to kind of build those, those type of players that they would love to see in the U.S. team. Former coach Bob Bradley was largely a 4-4-2 man. What do you plan to implement with this team tactically? I'm not a fanatic of a specific system. I'm more coming from an end where I see, you know, what type of players do I have and how can I make the best out of those players in specific ways of playing. We would like to step by step implement a more attacking style, more of a proactive style and, and kind of force the opponents reacting to what we are doing. It reflects your culture. I mean, America has not a culture to kind of wait and see what other nations are doing. They like to be proactive and do it the way they think it is right. How would you define success over the next three years? I define success in the individual development of players. Soccer traditionally is a lower class sport. We need to find ways to give those lower class kids the, the opportunity to play in, in club environments where you know there's a lot of money involved. We need to find ways to have the kids that are in club environment also play kick the ball around in unorganized ways, you know, and, and pick up or, you know, with friends in the neighborhood or whatever. Nobody taught, you know, Kobe Bryant or Steve Nash certain moves, certain things they're doing. They just did it on their own. Can you see a time, and if so, how soon, where the U.S. has a realistic chance of winning a World Cup? I think right now there's no realistic chance to win a World Cup for the U.S., to, to be clear, because I, I think compared to the powerhouses in soccer globally, we are really a couple of levels behind. But I think there is a chance one day, you know, to go for for the big things, you know, to go for a top four position in the world.